So in a landscape, where are we going to find barn owls? Well, first thing perhaps is that they're not urban birds. If you want to find barn owls in cities, you have to go to southern Europe. In Britain, you might find a nest in a church tower in a village, but generally they're out in the open countryside. So where are they? They're not birds that you find in mountainous areas. The highlands don't have very many barn owls at all. Upland areas of moorland are generally quite unsuitable for barn owls. You're much more likely to find them in lowland and of course we're talking farmland. Within the farmed environment, where are they going to find their food? Well, they're not woodland birds. That's the tawny owl, the ones that go to it to woo. They live in the woodland. Barn owls are not woodland birds. They're hunting over open country and we're mainly looking at fields. So where's the food? Well, the main prey for barn owls in Britain is the field vole and the best habitat for that is rough grassland. As well as finding food, barn owls need somewhere to roost and somewhere to nest. Roosting sites have to be somewhere that's dry because a wet barn owl can't fly silently. They need to be somewhere dry. They like to be high above the ground so they feel safe. And when they're nesting, they need somewhere level like the top of a wall or a cavity where they can lay their eggs. Traditionally, of course, barn owls, as the name suggests, were in barns. They were in farm buildings where they could nest on the top of the wall. They could roost on those wooden beams that were holding up the roof. But most of the old barns have gone. So where are they going to be these days? Well, modern farm buildings are generally unsuitable. So they might be in a really old farm building. They could be um, within bales, in a stack of bales, or they might be even in a hollow tree if it's, if it's got a nice, deep, dry hollow inside. So they roost in a very, very wide variety of sites. To find somewhere to nest, they actually need something that offers them a level place where they can lay their eggs or perhaps a wide base of a cavity. It's got to be somewhere dry. Within the landscape, there's not only the positive things that benefit barn owls, like food supply and great places to roost and nest, there's also the negative factors. And the big one that affects barn owls are major roads. So many barn owls die on motorways and dual carriageways. From the barn owl point of view, the problem with motorways and dual carriageways is that there is no hedge. The birds can fly across the road really, really low and very often the verge is rough grass where they'd like to hunt and of course a bird hunting along the side of the road is sooner or later going to cross the road and the inevitable happens. To find out more about this issue, explore the website.